A gyro compass is a type of non-magnetic compass which is based on a fast spinning disk and rotation of the Earth to automatically find geographical direction. Although one important component of a gyro compass is a gyroscope, these are not the same devices. A gyro compass is built to use the effect of gyroscopic precession, which is a distinctive aspect of the general gyroscopic effect. Gyro compasses are widely used for navigation on ships, because they have two significant advantages over magnetic compasses, they find true north as determined by Earth's rotation, which is different from, and navigationally more useful than, magnetic north, and, they are unaffected by ferromagnetic materials, such as ship's steel hull, which change the magnetic field. Operation, a gyroscope, not to be confused with gyro compass, is a spinning wheel mounted on gimbal so that the wheel's axis is free to orient itself in any way. When it is spun up to speed with its axis pointing in some direction, due to the law of conservation of angular momentum, such a wheel will normally maintain its original orientation to a fixed point in outer space. Since our planet rotates, it appears to a stationary observer on Earth that a gyroscope's axis is completing a full rotation once every 24 hours. Such a rotating gyroscope is used for navigation in some cases, for example on aircraft, where it is known as heading indicator, but cannot ordinarily be used for long-term marine navigation. The crucial additional ingredient needed to turn such gyroscope into a gyro compass, so it would automatically position to true north, is some mechanism that results in an application of torque whenever the compass's axis is not pointing north. One method uses friction to apply the needed torque, the gyroscope in a gyro compass is not completely free to reorient itself. If for instance a device connected to the axis is immersed in a viscous fluid, then that fluid will resist reorientation of the axis. This friction force caused by the fluid results in a torque acting on the axis, causing the axis to turn in a direction orthogonal to the torque along a line of longitude. Once the axis points toward the celestial pole, it will appear to be stationary and won't experience any more frictional forces. This is because true north is the only direction for which the gyroscope can remain on the surface of the Earth and not be required to change. This axis orientation is considered to be a point of minimum potential energy. Another, more practical, method is to use weights to force the axis of the compass to remain horizontal, but otherwise allow it to rotate freely within the horizontal plane. In this case, gravity will apply a torque forcing the compass's axis toward true north. Because the weights will confine the compass's axis to be horizontal with respect to the Earth's surface, the axis can never align with the Earth's axis and must realign itself as the Earth rotates. But with respect to the Earth's surface, the compass will appear to be stationary and pointing along the Earth's surface toward the true north pole. Since the gyro compass's north-seeking function depends on the rotation around the axis of the Earth that causes torque-induced gyroscopic precession, it will not orient itself correctly to true north if it is moved very fast in an east-to-west direction, thus negating the Earth's rotation. However, aircraft commonly use heading indicators or directional gyros, which are not gyro compasses and do not position themselves to north via precession but are periodically aligned manually to true north. Mathematical model of a gyro compass, we will consider here a gyro compass, as a gyroscope which is free to rotate about one of its symmetry axis, and the whole rotating gyroscope is also free to rotate on the horizontal plane, about the local vertical, the zenith. Therefore there are two independent local rotations. In addition to these rotations we will also consider the rotation of the Earth about its north-south axis, and we will model the planet as a perfect sphere. We will neglect friction and the rotation of the Earth about the Sun. In this case a non-rotating observer located at the center of the Earth can be approximated as being an inertial frame. We can set Cartesian coordinates for such an observer, and the barycenter of the gyroscope will be located at a distance from the center of the Earth. First time dependent rotation, let us consider another observer located at the center of the Earth but rotating about the NS axis by, then we set coordinates attached to the observer as, so that the unit versa is mapped to the point. For the 2O the Earth is not moving so as the barycenter of the gyroscope. The rotation of 2O, 
according to 1 O, is performed with angular velocity. We will suppose that the axis denotes points with zero longitude. Second and third fixed rotations, we will now rotate about the axis, so that the axis will have the longitude of the barycenter. In this case we have. With the next rotation we will bring the axis along the local zenith of the barycenter. This can be achieved by the following orthogonal matrix. So that the versa is mapped to the point. Constant translation, we now choose another coordinate basis whose origin is located at the barycenter of the gyroscope. This can be performed by the following translation along the zenith axis. So that the origin of the new system, is located at the point, and is the radius of the Earth. Now the axis points towards the south direction. Fourth time dependent rotation, now we rotate about the zenith axis so that the new coordinate system is attached to the structure of the gyroscope, so that for an observer at rest in this coordinate system, the gyro compass is only rotating about its own axis of symmetry. In this case we find the axis of symmetry of the gyro compass is now along the axis. Last time dependent rotation, the last rotation is a rotation on the axis of symmetry of the gyroscope as in dynamics of the system, since the gyroscope is not moving the height of its barycenter, its gravitational potential energy is constant. Therefore its Lagrangian corresponds to its kinetic energy only. We have where the tensor of inertia is given by and therefore we find the Lagrangian can be rewritten as where is the part of the Lagrangian responsible for the dynamics of the system. Then, since we find since the angular momentum of the gyro compass is given by, we see that the constant is the component of the angular momentum about the axis of symmetry. Furthermore, we find the equation of motion for the variable as or particular case, the poles, at the poles we find, and the equations of motion become. This simple solution implies that the gyroscope is uniformly rotating with constant angular velocity in both the vertical and symmetrical axis. The general and physically relevant case, let us suppose, now that, and that, that is the axis of the gyroscope is approximately along the north-south line, and let us find the parameter space, for which the system admits stable small oscillations about this same line. If this situation occurs, the gyroscope will be always approximately aligned along the north-south line, giving direction. In this case we find. Let us consider the case that. And, further, we allow for fast gyro rotations, that is. Therefore, for fast spinning rotations, implies. In this case, the equations of motion further simplify to. Therefore we find small oscillations about the north-south line, as, where the angular velocity of this harmonic motion of the axis of symmetry of the gyro compass about the north-south line is given by. Which corresponds to a period for the oscillations given by. Therefore is proportional to the geometric mean of the earth and spinning angular velocities. In order to have small oscillations we have required so that the north is located along the right-hand rule direction of the spinning axis, that is along the negative direction of the axis, the axis of symmetry. As a side result, on measuring, one can deduce the local co-latitude. History, the first, not yet practical, form of gyro compass was patented in 1885 by mariners Gerardus van den Bosch. Usable gyro compass was invented in 1906 in Germany by Hermann Anscher 1 quarter TZ KMV, and after successful tests in 1908 became widely used in German Imperial Navy. The gyro compass was an important invention for nautical navigation because it allowed accurate determination of a vessel a Euro 1 registered trademark s location at all times regardless of the vessel a Euro 1 registered trademark s motion, the weather and the amount of steel used in the construction of the ship. In the United States, Elmer Ambrose Sperry produced a workable gyro compass system, and founded the Sperry Gyroscope Company. The unit was adopted by the U.S. Navy, and played a major role in World War I. The Navy also began using Sperry's Metal Mike the first gyroscope-guided autopilot steering system. In the following decades, these and other Sperry devices were adopted by steamships such as the RMS Queen Mary, 
airplanes, and the warships of World War II. After his death in 1930, the Navy named the USS Ferry after him. Meanwhile, in 1913, Seaplath developed the first gyro compass to be installed on a commercial vessel. Seaplath sold many gyro compasses to the Weems a Euro unregistered trademark school for navigation in Annapolis, Maryland, and soon the founders of each organization formed an alliance and became Weems and Plath. Before the success of gyro compass, several attempts had been made in Europe to use gyroscope instead. By 1880, William Thompson tried to propose a gyrostat to the British Navy. In 1889, Arthur Krebs adapted an electric motor to the Dumoulin Fromont Marine Gyroscope, for the French Navy. Giving the Gymnot submarine the ability to keep a straight line underwater during several hours, it allowed her to force a naval block in 1890. Errors A gyro compass is subject to certain errors. These include streaming error, where rapid changes in course, Speed and latitude cause deviation before the gyro can adjust itself. On most modern ships the GPS or other navigational aids feed data to the gyro compass allowing a small computer to apply a correction. Alternatively a design based on an orthogonal triad of fiber optic gyroscope or ring laser gyroscopes will eliminate these errors, as they depend upon no mechanical parts, instead using the principles of optical path difference to determine rate of rotation. Patents, U.S. Patent 1,279,471 A Gyroscopic Compass by E.A. Sperry, filed June, 1911. Issued September, 1918. See also, acronyms and abbreviations in avionics, heading indicator, also known as direction indicator, a lightweight gyroscope used on aircraft, HRG gyro compass, flux gate compass, fiber optic gyro compass, Inertial navigation system, a more complex system that also incorporates accelerometers, Schiller tuning, notes. References Bibliography, Trainer, Matthew. Albert Einstein's Expert Opinions on the Spurry vs. Ancher 1 quarter TZ Gyro Compass Patent Dispute. World Patent Information 30, 320 DOI, 10.1016 JWPI. 2008.05.003 External links, Elmer A. Sperry case file at the Franklin Institute contains records concerning his 1914 Franklin Award for the Gyroscopic Compass, a Job Thought Impossible, the story of Chrysler Corporation's mass production of previously handmade gyro compasses for World War II naval requirements. Errors of the Gyro Compass, using the Gyro Compass, Ring Laser Gyro Compass manufactured by Sonodin.